it's me, Jessica Bieber. I'm back. I don't know if you guys noticed that I was gone, but I was in London for a bit and I got to see my besties. So that was really fun. And I also got to meet some really cool people at How You Can't. I don't know if you guys watched that, but it was really fun to be a part of. But yeah, that's where I've been. Don't know if you guys cared. But you know, just thought I would give you guys a little bit of an update because why not? Why not? So today I wanted to talk about the K-pop YouTube community, not like the Twitter, Facebook or like the entire community, just the YouTube community in particular. And I asked you guys on my community tab what you guys would want to change about the community and you guys came through with some answers. So I kind of wanted to give my opinion on what you guys said and just have a little bit of a talk about it, get a little bit of a discourse going. But before I get into it, I would love if you guys subscribed and switch on my notifications because it helps my channel a lot. And yeah, let's get into it. So for some reason, the most frequent answer I got was that people kind of sugarcoated their opinions and they aren't truthful or they hold back their opinions because they're scared of being attacked. And let me say, I am guilty of this personally and I hate it. I genuinely really dislike it. But sometimes I just feel like I have to give Eva a big ass disclaimer before I say something, you know, that I don't find personally to be that bad, but I just know what some K-pop fans are like. And it really sucks. And I was talking about this with other people at How You Con and stuff like that. But, you know, we're grown adults. You know, the you guys who watch me, like, we know right from wrong. But there are so many K-pop fans who just kind of outnumber the people who kind of, you know, know better, if that makes sense. So sometimes it just does feel like you have to sugarcoat things because you just can't be bothered to open that floodgates to you know what I mean? So even though I hate it, I wish it just wasn't like that. But I also feel like it depends on the opinion you're saying. I think if you sugarcoat stuff like saying, I don't like an MV or I don't like a song or I don't like this concept or stuff like that, I think it's really stupid if you just sugarcoat it and say like this long as thing. Oh, da, 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 but, uh, I, I mean, the, the concept isn't my favorite, but just like say you don't like it. Like, I don't know. The thing is with me or with most K-pop fans, if you say some, say you don't like something, then kind of give your reason you know, on why you dislike it, and you kind of just say, oh, that's just my opinion, but I still respect them, da 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 I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but I just feel like there is certain times where you do feel like you need to show an opinion, and sometimes where it's like, oh, girl, shut up, just say you don't like it and go. Like, it's not that deep, it's not that serious. People aren't going to be mad at you if you don't like a song, and if they are, then they're stupid, you know? The next thing people said a lot was the robot voice, and if y'all aren't aware of that, a lot of people, you know, will make K-pop videos using a robot voice not their own voice they will like use a text-to-speech like generator I'm guessing and then they will say all of their opinions via some random like robot and it kind of sounds like this Stan Walker he is the best vocaloid producer ever and he set the standard so personally to me I can't listen to videos like that are over five minutes long where it's just this voice speaking over and over again because it just gets so monotonous the words are pronounced incorrectly and it just kind of grates on your ears. I don't really mind it if it's just like in the video for like maybe one or two seconds where it's just like saying one thing and then showing a clip kind of in like a compilation kind of thing. But apart from that, I don't know. I personally just do not like the robot voice. But the thing is to me, I'm not going to tell anyone to stop using it because I feel like a lot of people use it because they don't feel confident in speaking English because maybe it's their second language and they're not completely fluent. So I don't want to be like, you know, someone to say, oh, just, just use your real voice. Like, cause I know it's not that easy to be confident in speaking English, you know? But let's say people use it and English is their first language. I don't really get it. Like, you know, maybe you're afraid of your voice being on the internet, but I don't know, girl, it's just your voice. Like there are a million voices in the world. And like, you think, I don't know, someone from your IRL life is just going to recognize you. Like, I don't know. Are, are you that special? Like, that's not trying to be shady, but come on, like, if English is your first language, I don't get why you would use such a grating voice on purpose. I don't know. I also feel like it's really hard to connect to people who use that voice because you just feel like there's nothing there to connect to. That's why I kind of find myself connecting to YouTubers who kind of show their face more or use their real voice more because you kind of see them as people. You know what I mean? But this is just a bit ironic coming from me, who is a Vocaloid stan, who literally just listens to singing robots all the time but it's different okay they have tones and stuff and they can be tuned really well they don't sound monotonous and you can fix their pronunciation <laughs> a few people would also talk about shippers kind of going out of control and i thought this was a really valid point as well i have discussed like shipping and stuff in another video and why i'm not really comfortable with shipping real life idols and stuff you know it would be hard to sum up in 30 seconds why it would be so frustrating 
and dehumanizing to see people like fetishizing gay relationships and stuff like that but the thing is for me right listen we need more representation in k-pop when it comes to the lgbtqi plus community but it has to be in a way where it's kind of consensual i guess because you know when you like make idols uncomfortable and shift them to their faces it's not uncomfortable due to homophobia it's uncomfortable because these people probably know each other and have been friends and they see each other more as brothers and if someone came up to me and said oh my god you and your best friend would be so cute together i ship you guys so much i would feel uncomfortable not because i'm homophobic but because that's my friend and i've known them for years and years and years you know what i mean it would just be weird to me and, you know, this reminds me, this topic reminds me of when, you know, Nancy from Momoland was getting, you know, cancelled because she said she didn't want to date any of her band members. Well, yes, of course she wouldn't because they're literally like sisters. Next thing I saw people talk about was the kind of thing that people do where they announce that they unstand groups and stuff like that. And I have been guilty of this one, but I privated the video for a few reasons. And I actually talked about this on my Instagram story the other day. So, yeah, if you guys saw that, I'm repeating stuff, sorry. I don't like these type of videos because I think they invite negativity into the K-pop community. I think they open up some gates to shit talking and just all around negativity and bad vibes. And, you know, I'm not really about that anymore. And the other thing is, like, the reasons I, like, so-called unstand these groups were just stupid. I ended up, like, standing them again after, like, a few months. So it was, like, dumb, really. <laughs> but aside from that, again, I just think it opens up... A whole new wave of ne negativity towards a group and towards a fandom. I feel like I've heard everything before and I don't get why people think they're like they're that special to announce that they're unstanding a group. Like unless you're Shaka Khan, I really do not care if you're unstanding Blackpink. I really don't. The only time, okay here's the thing, the only time I would be like okay yes to a video where it's like I'm unstanding blank and here's why. If it was towards someone who was genuinely a disgusting person so you can inform people about how disgusting this person is. But if you're just making like a 10 minute video for views and clicks about why you're unsigning a group and you think you're so special and you think, oh, this is so dramatic, like I had to do this. Like girl, it is K-pop, <laughs> you need to get over it. So I saved this one for last. I've talked about unpopular K-pop opinions so many times and I feel like this is genuinely gonna be the last time I speak about it unless something big happens. So listen, I, was actually the person who made the k-pop and popular opinions trend like i don't want to toot my own horn here but i was genuinely the person who started the trend and if i knew if i genuinely knew it it would turn into this awful god awful shit show i would have never have done it i would have never have done it at all and i am sorry for bringing this mess upon you guys you're welcome for the content but i am sorry for bringing this awful trend genuinely i hate it I genuinely hate it. And the thing is about my old videos, my old unpopular opinion videos, I don't watch them anymore because I think they're cringy. I also don't agree with like a majority of them because genuinely it's so weird. Even though it was only two years ago, I feel like a completely different person. But enough about me. I just think like that I understand this videos, they invite so much negativity and people use them as a blanket for hate. And you know, it's just dumb. I'm tired of it. And you know, the opinions that aunt hate i've just heard before a million times it'll just say something like i don't know bts are better rappers than exo or i don't like blinks like it's just stuff like that like i've heard it all before and it's not unpopular because a lot of people will think that way a lot of people will feel that way and it's like okay whatever so what now <laughs> And also, just a little side note, I actually created the Unpopular K-pop Opinions subreddit, but I ended up leaving it and ditching it completely and giving it to other people because I do not want to be associated with that at all. But if you scroll down far enough, you will literally see that I was the first one to post on it and say, oh, I am I own it and stuff and I want to include people's opinions in a future video. But yeah, no, <laughs> no. But yeah, it's just so embarrassing to think about how this trend blew up because I remember literally filming the video uh in may 2018 ish and then I, I posted mine and then suddenly i just started seeing like loads of unpopular cable opinion videos out of nowhere and i thought i was like oh i started a trend now two years later i'm like whoa imagine if i didn't do that it's like i hope it doesn't sound like i'm flexing because literally why would you want to brag about starting the worst trend in k-pop history ever i hate it but yeah you know even though i made this video it's like, I know nothing's gonna change because he's gonna listen to me, right? So it's like, well, you know, 
it's just nice to have a little rant about it you know if I left anything off do comment down below because obviously I couldn't include everyone's comments but a lot of you guys genuinely made really good points and you know if I was motivated and had enough time to include everyone's comment I would but I'm not so what now <laughs> I'd also like to add I should have probably said this at the start but whatever that I'm not really throwing any shade to any specific creator. This is more of just a general community type of thing. And, you know, I don't really have any problems with any specific K-pop YouTubers, apart from that one guy who made disgusting comments about Rosé. So, yeah, I don't remember your name, but you're ugly as hell. But all of the K-pop YouTubers that I have personally interacted with have genuinely been nice and friendly people. So... There's literally no shade to any of them. I don't consider myself friends with loads of them. The only people I really consider myself friends with who are creators are Johnny and Tora, and Tora ain't even a K-pop creator, so what now? So yeah, that's my little disclaimer. So don't think I'm atting anyone or trying to start beef because that's dumb. So, so just don't, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to hit me up on Twitter or Instagram and stuff, then... Please do. It makes me feel better. I love I love getting validation through numbers. It's true. It's true. No, seriously. I'm very lonely. I don't know if I should make this kind of into a thing where it's like talking about the K-pop YouTube community, talking about the K-pop Instagram community, talking about the K-pop Twitter community. I don't know if this should be like a regular thing or if that would be something you guys want to see, but let me know as well. And apart from that, you guys should stan Wawaka. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I'm off now. Bye. <laughs>